Welcome back to another Eastbourne Fisherman video. Tonight I'll come out with Olivia and we're going to have a fish. Um, it's been a bit of a mad one this evening, to be fair. Uh, the first location we've got to, Langley Point, is absolutely crammed. Uh, we're fishing a weekend. I don't usually fish the weekends. I usually fish midweek, but, you know, hey, we're out giving it a go. So, yeah, first spot, Langley Point, absolutely rammed. Second spot we went to, uh, again, busy as well. So we come down to Pevensey Bay. Um, and there's not a soul in sight. So is that a good sign or a bad sign? What do you think? A good sign? Yep. There's no one down there, so it's nice and peaceful and quiet. Uh, and we're going to have a fish. Um, we've not got no specific targets that we're looking for tonight. We just want to catch a couple, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not after anything, you know, specific. We're just going to give it a go. So, the rigs we're going to be using tonight are just a two hook clip down. The water is really flat calm. I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, and we're just going to do it and see what we can catch. If anything, let's do some fishing. Right, so the rig I'm using is here, just a really simple two hook clip down. The first bait is there, clip down right there. And the next bait is right down at the bottom, just clip down there. Straight log line for the first couple of casts. Right guys, so like I said, the water is flat calm. It is like a mill pond out here. Movement in the water, it's muddy, it's dirty. Obviously the last couple of days we've had some really, really, really big flows. So hopefully it's all churned up and there's some fish out there waiting for us. Let's get fishing. Right guys, there she blows. We are now officially out fishing. Will the fishing gods shine on us tonight? There's only one way to find out. Right, so we're going to place our bets now of what's going to come out first. Um, I think it's going to be a whiting. Olivia? I think that it's going to be a whiting or a small bass. Right, so the bets are placed. Um, we'll see if anything happens. Um, let's say first rod's cast out, or the first bait's cast out now. So we're just waiting around and just chilling out for a minute, aren't we? Let's do it. Right, and so apart from the awesome view that we got here, nothing much is happening. Uh, the water just seems to be on the turn now, um, and we haven't seen any bites so far yet. A bait's coming back untouched. This is the second cast in now. Um, on my third cast, I've tipped with squid, uh, so we'll see if that plays um, a part in us trying to land a fish tonight. But yeah, all quiet on the western front. Very quiet, really strange. After the big blows we've had, I thought it would have churned up all the water and we would have seen a lot more bites. Right, so finally getting a couple of little bites here, uh, which is actually quite nice to see. After we've been sat down for about half an hour, 40 minutes, with no movement on the rod at all. So to see a couple of wiggles is always welcomed. I'm pretty sure I can have a guess of what it might be. There we go. Nice wiggles there. Right, I'm going to have a look at this, see what we got. Um, and then we will come back to you and let you know. Right then, folks. So the fishing gods have shined upon us. And this is uh, it's my first one of the year, I think. I can't actually remember back. I don't think I've had one this big. Uh, Olivia's wearing the lucky red jacket tonight, so happy days. And uh, let's have a look at this fish. There we go. Look at the size of that pouting. Absolutely awesome. Whoa, easy boy, easy. Easy, one second, we'll get him back. There you go, look at the size of that guy. Absolutely awesome for a first fish of the night. What do you reckon? Yeah? We're going to get this little fella back, get a quick measurement of him, because he's actually quite a nice sized fish, just to get him on the record, and then we'll get him back in and carry on with the fishing. Happy days, man, happy days. Right, so I know some of my guys that watch the videos like to know measurements. Um, some of you might be match fishermen or anything like that, so it's always good to know. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Right, this one's coming in at just shy of 29 centimeters. So we're going for 28 centimeters. Maybe if you push the tail, no, it's a 28 centimeter pouting. I'm pretty happy with that to be fair. Right, so we're just going to put this pout back. Olivia's filming, so I'm hoping it doesn't do a turtle and fall down the old hill. <laughs> you right? Yeah. Right, so there we go, the pouting there is there. Right. There go. Right. That's just going to put him back in. There he goes, and off he goes. Oh, and then I'm going to get covered in the old drink. Right, so we seem to be getting a couple of bites now on the outgoing tide. Um, we're, we're about an hour and a half into the outgoing tide. 
Um, that little pouting slack lined us for good, didn't it? Pour up a slack lined us. <laughs> I can't believe it. I thought it was a, I thought it was a bat at first. Uh, it took a whole squid head. Uh, we got prawns out at the minute, which are left over from Cliff that he uh, gave us in the last session. I thought we'd get out here and try and use them. Getting a couple of nibbles on that, so hopefully that'll be productive. And we can grab a couple more fish this evening. Right, folks, so there is the view. There is the view. It's absolutely awesome. To be honest with you, I wish this camera would pick up all the stars that are out tonight because it's an absolutely lovely night. It's starting to get a bit cold now, so don't forget to make sure you're, you're wrapping up warm when you're coming out on these winter sessions. Definitely getting a bit frosty. As you can tell by my breath. It's good job you can't smell it. <laughs> right, guys, so squid seems to be the bait tonight. You get most bites on the squid. See if I can get a bite on the camera. There we go. Nice little bites on the camera there. I think that might be a whiten. I'm, I'm having a guess at a whiten on that one. Nice little shy bites there. Right, so second fish for the night for us. Um, a little bit smaller than the one I caught the other night, but here it is. A nice little strap conger. Do you want to touch his tail? He won't hurt you. There you go, see? See? Yeah. Olivia's never caught a conger, have you, Olivia? No. So this is a first for Olivia. I think we'll break her in slowly <laughs> using this nice little one here. Absolutely awesome fish. It does have little teeth, yeah. yeah. You see? Yeah. See? There you go. See? Tiny. Caught on the squid. Again on the squid. Absolutely <laughs> awesome. You alright? We're going to get this one back in and see what else brings or comes to us slimy. this evening. Very sticky, very slimy. Dad's got to try and get that off his. Oh, yuck. It's turning around. Yeah. We're going to get him unhooked. We're going to get him back in the sea and hopefully we'll be able to catch a couple more fish before we go home. You having fun? Yeah. Yeah, high five. Look him out. Right now, folks, a winter session wouldn't be the same without one of these little fellas. What do you think it is? My good old friend, the humble winter mackerel. Oh, bloody hell. My good old friend, the humble winter mackerel, aka the whiting. There he is. He's turned up on this session. Three species. Not too bad a session, to be honest with you. Pretty happy that we managed to pull a couple out after what seems to be a pretty slow start. So there we go. The whiting. Right, folks. So we got another fish. What fish is it, Olivia? Doggy. It's a woo, woof, 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 woof. It's a doggy fish. And this one's actually quite a nice one to be fair. Oh, there we go. Let's get a quick show of this one. So. There he is, there's our dogfish there. It's an absolute corker of a dogfish, really nice one. Really fat, quite long as you can see. There we go, so one dogfish to add to the uh, to the mix of fish that we caught tonight. What do you reckon? Oh! Let's get him back in. Just also want to show those people that are new to fishing, the quickest way to unhook a dogfish, or the easiest way, is to just grab the tail and the head like that in a circle, uh, and then you can unhook the fish like that. That's the quickest way to unhook a dogfish. So put the tail up to the head, grab it with a hand like that in a circle, and then you can attend to the fish like that. Right, folks, we rolled into another fish, and would you add them and eat it? It is another white. Slightly bigger than the last one. They are here, and they're coming back with a vengeance. This winter, the white in are going to come and get you. Wow. So let's get them back in. Weird session. Weird session. There's some great fish coming out. So, yeah. Not the biggest fish, but you know, hey, it's a fun session all the less. Let's get this little fella back in. Ooh, he's lively, isn't he? Proper lively, that one. Right then, folks, so we've hit last cast saloon. We're on the last cast now. Uh, nice overall mixed bag that we've had so far. It'd be nice to try and bag one last fish, so let's see what happens. Right then, guys, so that was another fun session. We ended up with, what do we have in the end? A pouting, two white and an eel, and a dogfish. So a nice mixed bag. Uh, like I say, we were scratching around for small fish tonight. So it was uh, pretty good, wasn't it? Did you have fun? Do you want to come again? Make sure you guys, if you have kids, take the fish and get them out in the fresh air. 
away from all the social media rubbish and the computer games. And we, we you know, spend some nice time, don't we? I like coming on sessions with Olivia. She's not that bad, really. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for joining me on the session, Olivia. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Like, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Yeah? Ready to go home? Yeah, I, I want to go home now. I want to go and get a nice hot drink. And, uh, yeah, I'm a bit tired now. So, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers.